everybody. It's Caitlin here, and I just wanted to show you guys the stuff that I got from Wholesale Supply Plus today. Here, you can stomp on that, buddy. There it is. All right, let me go ahead and open this and I'll bring you back. Alrighty, so first up, I got the Mulberry Fragrance Oil. That's good. It smells like a berry popsicle. If you ever got like a mixed berry popsicle or something. That's what it smells like. Smells so good. Then I also have banana coconut. And all of these have um, none to a very low amount of uh, vanilla in them. So that they won't discolor. I believe none of them discolor. That smells good. It smells more like... Um, you definitely smell more banana in it. Definitely more banana. Hot apple pie. Yep. That smells like hot apple pie. You could have, like, you smell some of, like, the spice in the pie. Like, the crust, the seasonings. You smell all of that in it, and you definitely smell like the caramelized apple. I also got the clove fragrance oil. It does smell like clove. It smells a lot like the clove essential oil I have. Don't touch, Bubby. So, yeah. It does have a clove smell to it. It's very earthy and like a warm, earthy smell. Pretty good. And bubble gum. Yeah, that smells like the double bubble or the hubba bubba. You know, where you, you make the, the big bubbles. Definitely, definitely smells like bubble gum. So, I turn it this way since that's the way you guys will be looking at it. These are the five that I got, and they each cost six dollars or less. So, it's really, really affordable. And with the size batches that I have, I could do ten batches of soap with this amount and I also had a haul from nurture soap and I've made a few soaps already and I've saved all the containers so I'll go ahead and I'll show you those ones today too this one is rosemary mint I have yet to use it yet but it does smell a lot like the um the Aveda rosemary mint Shampoo, very good. Then oatmeal, milk, and honey. I made this yesterday, and you probably already know what it smells like. It smells exactly like it says. Very unisex smell. And then vanilla. This one here smells like a very perfumey vanilla, and it said in the description that it had some patchouli and other stuff in it. And these ones are uh, only have slight discolorations, if any at all. Winter Wonderland. This one smells like a Yankee Candle, and I can't pinpoint the one that it smells like. Or it smells... It smells like just like the pine trees and like a sweetness of berries. It's really, really good smelling. And... Caramel coffee. It smells mostly like caramel. It smells almost like um like a dessert and not so much like coffee. So 
If you really like the small, the strong coffee smell, don't use this one. Actually, use a coffee one. And we're continuing this excitement with the colorants that I got from Nurture Soap. And here is Green Vibrance Mica. I got the sample set. So it's like, um, just, you know, all the colors of the rainbow. Purple Vibrance Mica. Orange Vibrance Mica. Showing up more yellow on the camera, but it definitely is more orange in person. Blue Vibrance Mica. The red Vibrance Mica, which looks more like the um, the wine color. It's very like maroony. Okay. And yellow Vibrance Mica. And pink Vibrance Mica. My son is throwing a fit in the background because I wouldn't let him spray air freshener on his brother. But anyways, also, I wanted to show you a few things that I got from the Dollar Tree. So let me grab those and I'll come back. Okay, so from the Dollar Tree, I picked up some uh, bubble wrap. And this kind does have the texture on the one side and flat, smooth on the other. And I actually used this the other day for my um, oatmeal, milk, and honey soap. So that's good to have. I have a handful of different types of spatulas that I got from the Dollar Tree. And they work really great. I like them just as much as my more expensive ones. Sometimes I like them even more. And I have like probably about five different kinds from the Dollar Tree. Also, I like these. They're four cup uh, containers, and they're excellent for mixing up lye solution, for doing your different colors, all that. And this is, well, here, I should more turn it this way. So that's good for that. This, which is a little messy because I just unmolded a couple of soaps just a couple seconds ago, um, but this is from the Dollar Tree. They're not the best. If you have a really, really, really hard um, soap, these would be great. Because this is more plasticky and not really silicone. And then you could also do mountain pour in there. The mountain pour would be really good in there. Mama. What, buddy? Mommy. Do you want more cheese? Here. Wee! <laughs> oh, so good. So good. And then... I got just some sugar sprinkles to add to um, my soap, which I think I'm going to do like a dessert soap kind of and put sprinkles on top and they'll just kind of dissolve the first time you use it, but it's fun. A little strainer. I use this for my lye and sometimes I use it for my mica and I just kind of sprinkle mica on top or strain the lye lint. This was a dollar also. And then this, if you are just kind of dabbling in piping and you don't want to go out and spend a bunch of money, you could practice with this little tiny piping set. Um, you can't really hold a lot in it and it's not, you know, the best quality, but it works. And I've already used one of them, and they're only a dollar a piece. So, you know, you could either throw it away after using it, or just rinse it out and reuse it. Really cool. Really nice. And that's from the Dollar Tree. And I think that might be it. I... Oh! I also got, like, this from the Dollar Tree... Um, uh, let's see, I'm just looking around my supplies that I have currently. Like this little spray bottle I got in a three pack at the Dollar Tree and it has alcohol in it. There's just a lot of things you could get from there supply wise. My big bowls that I use are from the Dollar Tree also. 
um, the big white bowls, but they're current. They're both in my my sink, getting ready to be washed. So that is all. Sorry for going really fast, but I only have a minute left for my memory space on my phone. Um, so thank you for watching, and have a good day. Bye.